Hey guys. <gasps> animals. Animals around me. So this is going to be quick. This is going to be quick, you guys, okay? I'm not going to take too long for this. I want to talk about what happened to me a couple of days ago. Okay, we're living in the end times. We're living in such a time right now that people are doing crazy stuff. So here in my state, we got a shooter that's going around shooting people on the streets. This kid in his 20s, and he's going around shooting people right now that are come up random, randomly to him. So he's got about 7 to 10 people or maybe more by now that he has shot. Kid in his 20s. What is causing all this? We're, this is going to be really weird to you guys, but I want you to understand this, okay? The Bible talks about in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 that God has given us the gifts of the, the Spirit. There are seven gifts of the Spirit. There are gifts that God has given me since I got saved a long time ago. And let me tell you something. This is real. You know, the Spirit of God is real. His kingdom is real. The supernatural is real. The power of God is real. I'm telling you, the way God operates supernaturally is real. So one of my best girlfriends I've known for 30 years, she moved to California. Okay, she's from India, just like me. I'm half Indian and my both of my, my mother and my grandma were born in Pakistan. Okay, so I'm kind of half and half. But she's from South India. So we've been friends for a long time. So she calls me on the phone and she's 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 taking a walk okay and she's talking to me on the phone all of a sudden she pauses and I hear a sigh on the phone like a man's voice and I heard a demon on the phone come on you guys I heard a demon through her phone do you understand and I said hey I'm not gonna give her name but I told her I was gonna share this on Facebook I said, hey, who walked right by you? And she goes, Yasmin, this man at the train station, he walked by me and he has no shirt on and I see him in the mornings at the train station without a shirt on and he's, it's like he's fighting with somebody. He's talking to himself, but he's fighting with somebody. And so he's like out of his mind. He's like mentally sick. I said, no, he's demon possessed. I heard the demon through the phone. All I needed to hear was a sigh. It, he wasn't on the phone with her. He just was randomly walking by her as she was walking down the street. This demon possessed man, I heard his voice and I knew he was possessed. I didn't know anything about him. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know nothing. All I knew is what she told me. After I said, whoever is right by you, I just heard a demon. I just heard a demon through your phone. These are the gifts of God. I'm telling you, think about this. There is no way that I could have known this by this without the Spirit of God with my flesh. I heard that demon walking right by her while she's on the phone with me. All he did was sigh, and I said, That person's demon possessed who just walked by you. I I I heard the demon. That is the supernatural gifts of God. So I said, man, that person, the church is powerless. Pe Listen, there are people that commit suicide, people that are addicted to drugs and alcohol, people that are, listen, why do you hear of people like pastors or their wives killing all their children and, and taking their lives? Why are we hearing stories nonstop about this? Why is this happening? People doing crazy stuff that you never heard of in your life. It's because of demonic possession and the church is in a powerless situation. They are powerless. They don't even know what to do. They don't even, you got demon possessed people in your own churches, in your families, your friendships, everything. And you don't even know what to do. Pastors don't even know what to do. Nobody knows what to do because they're afraid. Why, why are you afraid? What are you afraid of? Jesus said in the gospel of Luke that I've given you authority over all the power of the enemy. And nothing will hurt you or harm you. 
So why aren't you walking around casting out demons out of people? I need to leave this phone somewhere. Hold on a second. I'm going to see if I can put it somewhere. I don't know. Hold on a second. Because I need to like... I'm getting worked up here. Oh, it doesn't look like I can. All right. Listen, you guys. People are so possessed right now. That's why you're hearing crazy stories of crazy people doing crazy things. Because you cannot recognize the spirit behind it. These are spirits that are manifesting through people that have possessed their bodies. Because demons and spirits look for bodies to inhabit where angels can appear like a human form. A masculine human form, not a female. Masculine human forms all through the Bible. The demon spirits look for bodies to inhabit. That's why they go into humans and animals. They just want to possess a body so they can destroy it. Because Satan can't go into a body until the, the restraining power of the Holy Spirit is lifted. And when the rapture is taking place, we're going to be taken. We're, we're going to be, it's called harpazio, I think, if I'm saying that right. We're going to be snatched. We're going to be taken. The restraining power of the Holy Spirit is going to be lifted. And now Satan can enter into a human body where he couldn't, except in the Old Testament he could. And he did into Judas and Peter and until Jesus rose from the dead after that he couldn't enter into human body so the demons are looking for bodies to inhabit the demons can Satan himself can't until he enters into the Antichrist that's when he's gonna enter into a body okay he's gonna walk into the 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 temple in Jerusalem and they call it the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet then he will be able to proclaim himself to be as God that is called the abomination of desolation that is going to happen in the middle of the tribulation so all these stories that you're hearing listen we need the power of God we we need the gifts of the Holy Spirit because how can people be set free without the power of God how are they going to be set free unless you operate in the gifts of the Spirit we are the Lord's eyes ears hands legs feet it is no, we have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer us that lives, but Christ that lives in us. The life that I live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who came and gave himself for me. So it is Christ living in us and through us. And how, why are your family members so wicked? Why do you hear this stuff on the news of people killing and shooting each other? Why do you hear the craziest things and you're like, this is unbelievable. People are so possessed by demons right now. And the church doesn't recognize it. That's why you're hearing all these crazy stories. That's why you got crazy people after you. That's why you got crazy people that are that are shooting themselves in the head. Listen, I have a you you guys know I sing the national anthem a lot for the government. So a police officer friend of mine calls me a couple of months ago and he said, Yasmin, you don't know what's going on in the police in the in the in, in the cities we have got people that are out of their minds like never before suicide depression people want harming themselves that's what I told you that my post got removed because all those demon possessed people on my Facebook reported me because I said if you harm yourself you are possessed by the devil and they don't want to hear it if you harm yourself in any way you got possession this is not normal. Christians don't harm themselves. Only possessed people harm themselves. You can be afflicted like Paul was. A messenger of Satan was sent to buffet him. God allowed that so that he would be kept humble because of the many revelations that he received. But that was from the outside in, okay? If you're possessed, that means you're gonna harm yourself. You're gonna cut yourself. You're gonna scratch yourself until you bleed. You're, you're going to shoot yourself. You're going to cut yourself. I don't care what you do. You're going to try to commit suicide. You are going to hit yourself. You're going to hit your face. You're going to slap your face. You're going to do all this stuff. That's demonic possession. It is not depression. It is not a mental disorder. The Bible calls it over and over again, demonic possession. Okay. This is, this is God sharing the truth with us. This is the truth of the word of the living God. God tells us the truth. I don't care what the people say. I don't care what your psychologists say. I don't care what your friends say. I care about what God says. 
if you are not equipped, you cannot discern. Like I discern that spirit in my girlfriend's phone, that spirit walking by her, that thing moaned. I said, that's a demon. I recognize the demon spirit in that man and I never even saw him or talked to him. I heard its voice and my and the Holy Spirit within me said it's a demon. It's a demon. Okay? And there's so many of them. I listen, I got an email today from somebody. They didn't like my posts on Pokemon, they don't like my posts and stuff. So they said the demons are coming after me. And you know what I did? I forgave them and I prayed for them because the demons are actually coming after them, not me. And they're gonna kill them, not me. The demons can't touch us, okay? Because we are a child of the living God. God has a protection around us. You guys have to understand this. God has a protection around us. He has a wall of fire around the believers. He has this, but he has an anointing on our lives. We're in the world and not of the world. We're in Satan's ter territory and he can't stand us because he can't touch us Look, just like Job. Job couldn't be touched. There was a hedge around him. Even Satan said, because God said, have you considered my servant Job? And Satan knew. He goes, well, you put a hedge around him that I can't touch him. I can't touch his body. I can't touch his life. I can't touch nothing about him because you put a hedge around him. Even the devil knew there's a hedge around Job. He could see it in the spirit realm. So the devil can't touch you. God says, I've given you authority over all the power of the enemy and nothing will hurt you or harm you. But you know what? How many people are dying full of addictions, full of darkness, full of depression, full of suicide, full of, full of um, hatred and bitterness and, and the devil's got these people. He has engulfed these people from the inside out and they don't even know what controls them. And the church, all the church people do is say, sing Kumbaya. He said, these signs shall follow those that believe in my name that will cast out devils, that will speak with new tongues, that will drink anything poison, it will not harm them. Come on, they will lay their hands on the sick and they'll recover. Where is that going on except in the false churches? The churches that have these, these miracle services that are full of the Kundalini counterfeit spirit. There is a real power of God that still exists. See, the devil wants to make a mockery out of the power of God because to shut it down completely. That's what I watched. That's what the Lord showed me. He wants to make a complete mockery of the power of God because he wants to shut the, the, the Pentecostals down. That's why he wants to make them laugh like hyenas and have gold dust and gold teeth and and traveling to heaven and out of body experiences and all this crazy stuff. But let me tell you, there's a real power of God. And that power is available to you and I today to set the captives free. Jesus came to open the prison doors and to set the captives free. He didn't come so people could get murdered by the devil. Do you know people are getting murdered by the devil right now? He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Kill means murder. He's out to murder the whole world. Billions, billions of people are in hell and more billions are going there. There's hardly any that are going to make it to heaven. Do you understand? There's not going to be billions of people in heaven. Mil not, I don't even believe there's going to be millions. Jesus said that wide is the gate that leads to destruction and many are there that go therein. But narrow is the gate that leads to everlasting life and only a few will enter. I didn't write the Bible. I did not write the Bible. God wrote the Bible. He is the living word. I didn't write it. That's why I'm so strong with you guys. Listen, if you give the devil an inch, he's gonna take a mile. You put your little toe into sin, he's gonna take the whole foot and the body. The Bible said it, it is better for you not to have known the ways of righteousness than to turn from the holy commandment. As a dog returns to its own vomit as, and as a soul wallowing in the mire. A pig in, in the mud. That's what God says. You're like a pig going back to the to this the mud, the mucky sin corruptions of this world. But why? Do you do you think that having sex outside of marriage is so important to you that you're gonna go to hell for it? Do you think that 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 living in sin 
fornication, adultery, wickedness, revelries, cussing, anger, bitterness, can't love your brother or sister in Christ, can't do right to them, you have no conviction of the Holy Spirit. We're in the end times. This is why people are crazy. People are crazy because Jesus said, the, because wickedness will abound or lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Okay, why is my grass brown? My grass is brown. I need some rain. I need some rain at my house. It's getting dark out here, but the grass is brown. Pray for rain. Y'all pray for rain. It is drought. It is a drought. My grass, some of it's green, some of it's brown. Okay, listen, I'm about to go. This is the reason why people are doing crazy stuff out there. They're shooting people up. They're cutting them off the road. They're killing their families. You see churches, pastors, you know, sleeping around with other men and doing drugs and, and having um, homosexual relationships like Ted Haggard and all these other people. Listen, there's a reason why it didn't just happen. Ow, ow, sorry, mosquitoes. It didn't just happen, okay? This is demonic warfare. This is demons. You can't blame your wickedness on the demons, but all the demons need is a doorway in because of your own sin. Listen, when you stand before God on judgment day, you're not gonna say the devil made me do it. The devil just works through legal entryways. He comes in because you give him entryway. Because you go out and do drugs. You get high. You get drunk. You smoke pot. You do those opiates. You have sex outside of marriage. You are masturbating. You are in. You are a liar. You got a lying spirit in the church leadership. Hello. You got unrepented sin. You got all this stuff going on. And the devil comes in. And he's going to ruin your life. I'm just telling you right now. He is going to ruin, he's going to destroy you. He's not playing. You can't play with sin. We're at the end times where the trumpet is getting ready to sound. So if you're under the sound of my voice and I'm about ready to go, listen, when I heard the demons through that phone, when my, my girlfriend was talking to me and I heard a man walk by her, all I heard was his sound. That's all I heard. I said, a demon just walked by you. That's the gifts of the Spirit. She goes, that man, that man that just walked by me talks to himself by the train station. He's, he, he's fighting with somebody and, and nobody, he's, he's crazy. He's mentally crazy. I said, no, I don't know who he is. I just heard his voice. I just heard him moan in your phone while you're talking to me, passing by this guy in the street. He is demonically possessed. That mental illness is demonic possession. That comes from demonic possession, as I believe most mental illnesses come from demonic possession, okay? Most mental illnesses, listen to me again, come from demonic possession. And all this world does in their psychology is they label it. Manic depressive, uh, you know, I don't know, ADHD, like everything. They'll give you medications for it. They'll, gi they'll give you, you know, schizophrenia. They'll call it whatever they want because that's what they do. Ow. Oh, sorry. Ow. Ow, that hurt. I got bit. That hurt. So listen, I'm about, I'm about to end because I don't want I don't want giant bites. So listen, when you are serving God, you gotta serve him completely. You cannot give an inch to the devil. Do not give him anything. The Bible is clear that on that. You gotta get right with God and you gotta get right with him tonight. You gotta get right with them right now because you know what's gonna happen if you don't? He is going to come to steal, kill, and destroy from your life. He's gonna take everything you got. He's gonna take your, your mind. He's gonna take your body. He's gonna take your family. He's gonna take your children. He's gonna take everybody to hell. He's, he's just gonna come in and wreak havoc. He's gonna take your marriage. He's gonna take everything you got. He's gonna take your money. He's gonna take your house. He's gonna take your health. He's going to take everything you got, everything you got, everything he can get. He's taken it from you. That's what he wants. He wants everything. He's not playing. So you've got to repent. And you got to turn your life around. You give him that music. You got to repent. You, you, know, you know that somebody's listening to me. They're listening to some evil music. You got to repent because that music is a melody with the doctrine and it releases demon spirits. 
And you got to ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit right now. You need the Holy Spirit to get through these end times. You can't make it without the Holy Spirit. You got to live in holiness, pure righteousness, 100% sold out to God. No one foot in the world and one foot in the church. No riding the fence. Because the devil is going to kill you. You see what he's doing to people in the church? You see what he's doing to pastors and their families? You see how he's, he's causing people to take a gun and shoot their whole family and drown them in the water? Pastors and leaders and their wives? You think he ain't coming after you? You see Ted Haggard sleeping around with a man doing drugs? Got exposed? Listen, you see all this news all the time. Day and night, just turn on the news. You'll see some crazy stuff. Crazy stuff that you never heard of before. Some cra Ow, some crazy stuff. Sorry, I'm getting bit. This is because the devil's on the loose and you're giving him entryway into your life. You gotta get filled with the Holy Ghost. You gotta repent. Jesus is coming. You gotta be able to cast demons out of people because people are hurting. People need Jesus. And the church is powerless because they're in sin. The church is in sin because they won't repent of their wickedness. They're practicing Halloween. They're doing yogas and yoga in their churches. They're doing all kinds of wicked abominations before God and they are powerless. God ain't going to pour out his spirit on that church until they repent of their evil deeds and their idolatries. So you got to do it in your prayer closet. You don't have to wait for a church. You go in your prayer closet and you get right with God today, tonight. After this video, you repent. Clean out your house. Get rid of all that wicked witchcraft in your house and those abominations in your life. You repent, get right with God, and, and renounce Satan's kingdom. Destroy everything in your house that represents Satan, false religion, idolatry, and witchcraft, and, and pornography. You destroy it all, and you get right with God, and he'll fill you with the power of the Holy Spirit. He said, if you seek me, you will find me with all of your heart. If you search for me with all of your heart, but you got to search for him. You can't write stuff in journals. He said, search for him. Seek his face. Look for him that you can find him and he will reveal himself to you. He said he will. He's not a man that he should lie. So God wants to reveal himself to you, but you got to repent of your wickedness. You got to turn to him. And he said, be ye holy as I am holy. Be perfect, he said. You have to turn and live in holiness. He said, this is the how you discern the children of God and the children of the devil. The children of the devil will keep sinning. They continue in sin, but the children of God do not continue in sin. Okay? This is how you discern the children of God and the children of the devil. He that practices, practices righteousness is of God. Read it. Read it. I think it's in 1 John. He that practices righteousness is of God, but he that continues in sin and practices sin is a child of the devil. Their father is Satan. So if you really want God and you want the gifts of the Holy Spirit and you want to be able to discern what's from God and what's from the devil, listen, you, you need God. The only way to know it is by the power of the Holy Spirit. You got to be filled with the fullness of God. You got to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You can't. Be filled with the Holy Spirit and live in sin of any sort. Not even a little sin, not even in thought. Your thoughts are worshiped to the devil or to God. Your thoughts are going to be judged by God. If your thoughts are full of wickedness and your thoughts, listen, God destroyed the whole earth because their thoughts were continually evil. In the By the flood, by the flood, he said their thoughts, he didn't, he didn't go to the, even their actions. I, maybe I'm wrong. I gotta read that again. But he said their thoughts were continually evil and they were coming up before him. So when your thoughts are evil, your actions are gonna be evil, okay? If you if you are pure in thought, pure in word, you, you can't cast demons out when you're cussing. You can't cast demons out when you're bitter. You can't cast demons out. You can't have victory over your flesh when you don't surrender your mouth to God. Your mouth has to be full of holiness. Your mouth has to be of the oracles of God. Your mouth has to speak the things of the Lord. Your mouth can't be cussing. Your mouth can't be gossiping. Your mouth can't be full of bitterness. Your mouth has to be full of the Holy Spirit. Because he said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. 
the belly, your spirit will flow rivers of living water. Your mouth will be filled on fire with the Holy Spirit. You will speak the things of the Lord like I do. You think, I, you think I'm extreme? Wait till you meet Jesus. Ooh, wait till you meet Jesus. Man, you think, you think I am tough? Wait till you meet Jesus. Wait till you meet the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the lily, the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the fairest of ten thousands, wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the Prince of Peace and the Everlasting Father. Wait till you meet the Lord of the armies of heaven. Wait till you see how powerful he is and how extremely holy he is and how extremely strict he is. He's strict. Oh yeah, we're saved by grace, all right. But you know, grace unto good works, grace to turn away from evil. Yes, it's a gift of God. But man, when you get saved by grace, you live in holiness, you live in righteousness, you live in truth. You live seeking God's face, completely sold out to him. You no longer are of this world. You don't want to be here. You don't want nothing to do with this world. You don't want to watch anything on TV that is cussing or swearing or sex or violence. You can't stand it. It it affects your spirit. It just tears you up. You can't even have friends that are wicked because you know it's going to pull you away from God. They're going to always pull you away from God. I'm done. Guys, you know, I'm so filled with the Holy Spirit. Man, I could feel his power on me when I'm talking. I could feel it when I'm walking, when I'm sleeping. When I, Don't you want some of this? You want some of what I got? Tell me, you want some of what I got? let me tell you what I got there ain't nothing else I need what I'm not missing nothing in life I'm lacking nothing for no good thing you want some of what I got you gotta repent it's gonna cost you everything you gotta repent you want the gifts of the spirit you want to be filled with the fullness of God you want to be able to discern demon spirits. You want to be able to hear. You don't even have to see them through the phone. You want to be able to see things. You, you, want, you want the gifts. You want God's power in your life. You want to walk in victory. you got to repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. you got to repent. And that's the problem. You don't want to let go of your sin. You don't want to let go of your wickedness. You want, you want, ladies, you want to use your body to sleep around with men. Guys, you want to use your body to sleep around with women and take advantage of them. You want to look at porn. You don't want to live in holiness. You don't want to give it up. That's the problem. You love your sin too much. That's the problem. You love your old friends too much. You love your drunkenness too much. You love your drugs. You love to get high too much because you like your pain. You think that's what's going to cure your pain. You don't even know the devil's got you. Opiate addictions. You love that painkillers too much. You guys following me? Witchcraft, sorcery, divination. You love it too much. You can't have Satan and God at the same time. So you got to repent. I hope this helped you. I got to go inside because these mosquitoes are getting me. Did it help you? You want some Holy Ghost? You want victory? You gotta repent, live in holiness, purity, righteousness, truth before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The trumpet is getting ready to sound. You must be born again of the Spirit of God to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Your name must be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You must be able to forgive your enemies. You must be able to pray for your enemies. You must do good to your enemies. You gotta, you gotta have the eyes of the Spirit I pray that the Lord will open your eyes so that you'll get right with God because many of you are not right with God. Many of you. Uh, Christina goes, the mosquitoes want some Holy Ghost too. Yeah, well, they're, they're vultures. <laughs> they're vampires. That's all I can say. These mosquitoes are vampires. It's getting dark out here. And they're just, they, they like that Indian skin or something, but I got, I got to get inside before they really get me bad. But Anyways, God bless you. I love you. And I pray this video really helped you. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus is about to blow the trumpet. We're getting ready to go with him. And we're going to be out of here. See you soon. God bless.